Freedom of navigation has been um, expounded and propounded by all parties to the issues of the South China Sea, West Philippine Sea. And um, everybody seems to be guaranteeing freedom of navigation. So I see no issue as to uh, this U.S. naval ship uh, traversing under international law in waters that should be free, uh, you know, free to be traveled upon by any non-belligerent country. Again, if there are no hostile intentions um, being alluded to by any party, why should tensions be increasing in this particular portion of the world? 12 nautical miles is the international standard of territorial waters. And again, uh, so long as everybody conforms to the norms in, uh, based on international customs and rules, regulations, and laws, then there shouldn't be any problem. When you change something, there is general agreement among all parties that are affected as to what changes would bring about a better regime in terms of, uh, of travel. It cannot be determined by one entity. So the balance of power says that there is not just a single voice that must be adhered to. There has to be a plurality of voices when all parties are affected by changes of the realities on the ground.